cow, I was not expecting another film in this series. Let's talk about A Haunting in Venice from 2023 with the Hercule Poirot character from Agatha Christie. This is the third outing from Kenneth Branagh's directorial and everything star-studded big budget mystery crimes of the character with Orange the Express last year with The Nile, which didn't do too well so it was very shocking pleasantly shocked pleasantly surprised and happy that they did make another one very happy because it involves horror and haunted yay so this one is the third outing for it and well good job all around i have to say so from 20th century fox on a smaller budget based on the story halloween party but changing it to the location events and calling it a haunting adventure, which I think was a smart move. Instead of just Halloween party, sounds a little vague. This sounds a little bit better. Great job overall. I love his take on the character, and it is definitely a chilling, delightful film. There's a lot of atmosphere. There's a lot of twists and supernatural stuff, but not too much. It still focuses mostly on Poirot and his, what he does best, finding who did it. Brilliant, brilliant job of the cinematography absolutely beautiful haunting the locations in that time period the mass the gondola riders the eerie architecture and the art and the characters each one learning more about them and their past and who are they seem like could it be this could it not be this wonderfully done and then that focused on those so the work was just focused on those characters and the people and not too much astray to anything else at any other grandeur spectacle. While there was a lot of spooks and a couple of haunting things there, it mostly focused on that. And that helped add there and it made it go, is this really happening or is it not? Which Poirot was trying to prove. The whole point was there is a daughter murdered and they wanted to have a seance, hear her, talk to them. But a writer friend played by Tina Fey and a bodyguard and a bunch of apples forced the retired Poirot to go check in the sands to kind of sit there and go, come on, you got to believe in this stuff. And he and they basically wanted them to be like, ah, he's not going to believe this and he's going to... But then he starts to believe, maybe? And by the end, he starts believing? Maybe? I like that messaging. There's a lot of good messaging, good faith, interesting symbolism and everything in this movie. Cast is very well done. Really great. The mysteries, the experiences, death to the narrative. It's not your typical horror film, because it has all the mysteries, so you're really focused on that. But there's so much imagery, so much everything from the camera shots and the different shots. There was even one where it made it look like he was really just, <sighs> like, he, he, he was out of it and he was freaking out. Great job with that. Everything, it wasn't too big budgety, thankfully, so this might help this one in the box office. Please, I'm enjoying these. And with horror, how can you not? Wow, eerie, atmospheric, beautifully shot, and again, just amazingly acted overall. I don't want to spoil too much, but the ending, it's like, wow, and then, wow, really? That's terrible about what happened. And then there's a twist, even after when the whodunit is figured out. But you love to see him work. You love to see him lock everyone in and say, no one's leaving until I find the mother. And it's amazing. I love that mustache. I love seeing more about him and him growing as a character. And all these other characters, you feel for. You feel for a lot of characters. There's some emotionally sad scenes in this. But everything, great direction. Just great everything. A truly well-made movie. Probably one of my favorites of the year. And it's perfect for the Halloween season. I mean, wow, the little ghost haunted stuff there isn't as strong as you would think it would be, especially with the trailer, but it's just enough in there. And it, and it works surprisingly well, and the ending pays off very well, explaining everything real and what wasn't real. Rav O, I love these series of films from Brana are really amazing, and A Haunting in Venice damn i'm very happy they did this and it's perfect for this time of year i say go check it out now, i just wanted a quick spoil free review go see it hopefully some of this will help it because good word of mouth did help them make this third one even with the box office so hopefully good word of mouth again can help this film as well 
Thank you for watching. I'm the Grim Reviewer. Go check out A Haunting in Venice. Ooh, I should get a mustache like Poirot. Thrilling whodunit movie. Beautiful cinematography. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. Every shot is just, mm, what an opening. And just, ah, good story and just, I'm sorry, but well done to everyone involved in this movie. Great job, everyone. Must see. See you next time. Oh yeah, like, comment, subscribe, whatnot. Wah!